Hey kids. So today we are building a compost pile. And this is not just any old compost pile over here. This is a very special type of compost. It's called a Johnson Sioux bioreactor. Now that sounds pretty fancy, huh? Like it's a big machine or something, but it's really just some wire mesh, landscape fabric, and then we have these perforated tubes in here. And we're gonna fill it with buckets of wetted wood chips and ground up stems all the way up to here. And the reason we have these tubes is that when you make compost, which, does anyone know what compost is? Could you tell me what compost is? I know, I know some of you know because you've been in the garden before and you've given us good answers. I'm sure you've guessed right by now that compost is decomposed stuff. Organic matter, stems, twigs, bark, all of the things that come out of a garden, out of a forest, everything compost. And that's basically compost is when you intentionally make that stuff break down. So we saw the worm compost where the worms are actively doing that for us. Well, in this case, we're building a big pile. And the reason we have these tubes in here is because compost happens because of the microorganisms organisms that we saw under the microscope. And they need air. So how we're gonna get air to them is these big tubes all the way through the middle of the pile. And we're gonna fill this up and it's gonna sit for about nine months to a year. We haven't started yet, but we're gonna start filling it. And at the end of the year, we'll have a, a huge pile of really nice rich compost that we can use to spread across the garden and make the soils a lot more healthy. So this type of compost is really nice because you just build it and then you don't have to do anything else except for make sure it stays wet. And the first stage in this is we took a bunch of, we're taking wood chips and we ground up a bunch of um, stems, corn stalks, old tomato stems, and we ground them up and we're wetting them in this kiddie pool. And then we're draining them in this wheelbarrow. And then we're filling these buckets and those buckets are gonna get dumped in there, layered and layered and layered until it's about five feet tall of wetted ground up wood chips and stems. And like I said, that's gonna sit for nine to 12 months and then we'll have nice ready compost. Now on the other hand, behind me I have these piles this is another way that you can make compost that is maybe easier but less predictable and sometimes needs more work. And these are just pallets and in here we layered in all of the things we pull out of the garden. All the stems, the leaves, it all gets layered in and then it just sits and does its thing. It takes as much time as it needs to break down. We're going to actually pile these up again, put worms into them, and then we're going to put a tarp on them. So we'll have basically, like you saw the worm bin, this will be like a big pile for the worms and that will sit and rot down. But the, the moral of the story is compost happens when you pile up organic matter. So I encourage you when you're working in your kitchen or in your garden or on your yard maybe to gather the leaves, the grass clippings, save all of your skins and stems and seeds from when you're cooking and put them in a pile somewhere in your backyard, put some pallets up or you can put them just in a corner where you, no one can see it, and you just layer them up. Leaves, kitchen scraps, grass clippings, straw, wood chips, hay, whatever you have. And if you leave it for long enough, you can come back to some nice rich soil. Once we have full buckets, I'm just gonna carry them up the ladder. You need about 70 buckets full of that material before this will be full. And the whole time I gotta make sure I keep all these pipes straight. And that's it, pretty easy. 70 buckets, I don't know how easy that's gonna be. <laughs> all right, Mark showed me how to do it, so here goes. Two buckets. That's four buckets and uh, 66 to go. <laughs> So kids, uh, I'm hauling this, these wood chips from the big pile in the back and I noticed that some of the decomposition that Mark talked about is already happening. See that white stuff there? I'm not mistaken, that's the mycelium we've talked about before. So there is decomposition happening in that pile back there. 
uh, but it's really slow. When you have something that's as hard as a wood chip, it takes a long time. If we left that pile back there, it would decompose, but it might take years. It definitely would take years. So what we're doing with the bioreactor is speeding up the process. We're making the ideal conditions for the microorganism to eat this stuff, to live and multiply and be happy and just turn all this into soil. Update, we just finished building our Johnson Sioux bioreactor. And as you can see, it's full to the top. Now I'm gonna put a cover on it. We've got a piece of landscape fabric. It needs to stay covered. It's gonna get watered once a day for one minute. And like I said, for nine to 12 months, it's gonna sit here. This is our compost thermometer. And I'm gonna jam this in here and I'm gonna get a reading. And I'm gonna come back tomorrow I'm going to get a update on how much this thing heats up. So let's see right now. It's already reading 82 degrees. So let's see what happens when you get a bunch of wood chips and stem, ground up stems wet and pile them up with air pumping right into them. What do you think is going to happen? We'll check back tomorrow. Okay kids, we are back here at the compost pile. It's Friday. We built this yesterday. And does anyone remember how the temperature that this was when I first built it? I think it was 82 degrees. So we're gonna put our compost thermometer in here. We're gonna jam it in there. And let's see what it's... I just watered it when I was watering it. There was steam coming out of these tubes. So that told me that it's gotta be relatively hot. So if you look at it, it is reading just about 92 degrees. So it's increased in 10 degrees in temperature overnight. And I suspect that by tomorrow, it'll probably be somewhere around 130, 140 degrees in there. As we saw in the microscope lesson, that's all those organisms we saw under the microscope doing their work. They're basically starting to break down all this material and generating a ton of heat. Now we're gonna let this sit for nine to 12 months and we'll have ready to use compost. Compost is decomposed stuff, organic matter. Leaves, kitchen scraps, grass clippings, straw, wood chips, hay, whatever you have. 